G'day everyone, and welcome to another long overdue video. I won't apologise for that because, hey, I'm out here, I'm living my life, I'm having a great time, and I'm making a little bit of money. The lack of videos from my channel can mostly be attributed to recent success. So we've been doing a heap of research into some very remote locations and trekking in for days at a time to find nuggets with our detectors. And eventually, it did pay off. We got onto an awesome little gully that comes off a major river system. One that's known for gold, but it's so far off the beaten track that it doesn't attract a lot of attention from most prospectors. This time of year, our little hotspot is protected behind a seasonal road closure gate, so it's pretty safe. But we wanted to make sure that we got all of the easy gold before I put any videos up. And now, without further ado, I'd like to introduce you to Nuggety Gully. Buckle yourselves in, because you're about to see some damn fine gold. I want to see it get thrown out into the yeah, pan. Yeah, I just want to see it there. There must be another, more in there. Sounds like there was, yeah. Eh? There it is. Oh, is it on there? Yep. Beautiful. Ooh. Mm, don't know how that Give me the pan off. Very nice. Very nice. Piece number two from the same spot. Nice one. That's what it sounded like when I first heard it there. I've cleaned out that crack now and if I stick it down in there it should be loud. Cool. Alright, so there's a few big rocks in this little uh, valley through here, these big ones, that one, that one, that one, I've just uh, scratched them out and I thought I might have heard something and scratched out a little bit more with the pick and I can definitely hear something now. Did you? I think you might have flipped it out already in your pile. There it is. Oh, there it is. That's another good little bit. I'll just spit clean it. That's got chunk to it. It's a beautiful piece. Oh, it just goes to show moving a couple of big rocks now and then can pay off. You ripper. We're a bit close to the rapids here, so the audio won't be the best, but I think I've got three signals in here. One in this waterfall bit. You can definitely hear that. There's one out here in the middle somewhere. The 
There's another one down on this ledge here somewhere. Yes, yeah, so that's definite another three targets. Whether they're gold or not, well that's a different story. So I got the first target uh, that I showed you before out from under there. And it was only a nice piece of flat lead. But uh, the boss over here has got another target. Oh, oh. You're joking, honey. Bit of a crack down the back there. It looks a bit smooth though, doesn't it? That sounds quite tasty. Oh, it's very smooth. Maybe it is something else. Come on. Sounded like gold. Boy, that's a good knock. I reckon you're on here. Yeah. You'll hear it. <laughs> there it is. I can see it. Yep. Oh, that is gold too. Look at that. Woo. All right, come on, pick it out. No, that can't be it, is it? What's it looks it? tiny. Yeah, That's just another not. bit. That's just a random piece of gold that was in there as well. <laughs> you reckon? Yeah, for sure. Yours is yours is way louder than that. There you go. Hopefully that, that one there is the little sister and this one's going to be the big brother, eh? It still sounds good. I can't work it out. Oh, you're joking. Is it? What is that? Not gold, just a bit of iron. Oh, it's a bullet. Ah, there you go. No. Perhaps a um, flat nose 177 cal air rifle pellet. That's my guess. Yeah. Weird. But yeah, definitely a piece of gold sitting right there, eh? <laughs> we'll take that little sucker as well. Right, so we scratched out the rest of that and there was nothing else to be had. Uh, I got all of these targets out. All of them were lead. Um, three of them were lead shot. There's still one down in over there in that crack, but I've spent long enough trying to scratch it out and yeah, my shirt's soaking wet and kind of over having my head under water, so we'll keep walking instead, see if we can find something a bit easier. Up in the dry bank here, away from the creek. The boss just got that little one. Oh, oh. Quite coarse as well. Nice little bit. It's not just thin, it's got a bit of chunk. Good stuff. Hmm. Might have to do some sample panning along this bank. Just lead shot. Bugger. Another little one here, or big one here actually. Is that it? That's yep. it, bit of iron. Bit of crappy old iron. Oh well. Might have a little target here. Very coarse bit. Yeah, right. Yeah, I, I thought that was going to be lead, eh? 
Hmm. Stuck right under the ledge. There's still stuff nice. under there. Nice. Okay. I could smell something a bit fishy here. Someone's uh, someone's lost quite a nice animal there. Hmm. That's a nice animal. Hang that up on the shed. Just a little one, but we'll we'll dig it. All right, and I can see it already. I'm just trying to get this border out of this little nook. And that must be it right there. <laughs> uh, I don't know. That was tiny. I've lost it now. Wonder whether that actually was it, because that looked really small. That piece. I don't know. That's alright, a bit bigger than it looked. Just waved it back over that spot before I walked away and I've, I've still got a target in here. So, there's obviously another piece of gold. No sign of this bit yet, but it could be anywhere yet. Nice loose bedrock, which is awesome. There's a good chance there'll be little bits of gold all through this stuff. Like, um, like my mate said, it's not very often he's right, but I'll give him credit today. Is that it? Nope. All right, it's just there. Ah, there it is. Unless that's another bit. Because that's pretty small as well. No, that can't be it. There's got to be another piece there somewhere. <laughs> right, just splashed a bit of water up in there and then blew it all back down. And there's our little piece. Oh. What a beauty. <laughs> right, so there's two together right there. That's awesome. Oh, and this other little tiny piece if you'd count that <laughs> I think I got another one in the creek here it's better yep that's got to be gold all right I just waited for the water to clear and then put the goggles on and a headlamp poked my head under there and I flipped it out straight away it was a nice easy one it's sitting out on the bedrock now so it should be nice and loud today guys it normally doesn't happen like this so that's four so far this morning in about an hour and four targets <laughs> yeah you can actually see in the water pretty well now but I got that little piece it's all bedrock through there that little piece was just jammed up right there just a little lump in the lowest point middle of the creek Perfect spot for a little half gram nugget to sit. Oh, that's going to be a good bit. All right, let's see what we got here. Well, I can see it in here. It's a beautiful piece. Hopefully, you guys will be able to see it on the camera. Oh, 
have a go at that. Two and a half, I reckon, grams. What an absolute beauty. Totally worth hitting my head on that log for. This one makes the others look a little bit small now, doesn't it? <laughs> Alright, so here's the first one out of that little spot there. Not a bad little piece. And then the second one has just gotten very loud, which is always nice. Like I'm never going to escape this little spot. And this piece of gold is playing hard to get. It sounds like a decent bit, but uh, I feel like I've been chasing it around for quite a while. Just not getting anywhere with it. Got to be close now, surely. Right, okay. Well, it's definitely there somewhere. And it's definitely a good piece. Should have just kept recording. It only took me another five seconds after I turned the camera off to um, flip it out. Oh, these March flies. Hopefully, I reckon you guys can see it from the surface. Ooh, what? <laughs> that is a nice piece of gold. That's got to be another two and a half grams, I reckon. Uh, maybe just over two. So that's, what, $500 of gold we've gotten out in one square metre of this creek here. <laughs> but we're going to keep walking because... This one, uh, where we are at the moment, we've travelled a long way to get here. We don't have a lot of time, so we need to um, make the most of travelling up the creek and trying to find all the big gold. And then perhaps later on, we can plan on coming back and uh, go to the hot spots that we've marked and spend a bit more time working them more thoroughly. But for now, this is a bit of a reconnaissance trip. Oh, mate, that is a beautiful piece of gold. I'll just put this one here next to the uh, other four little bits that came out while we we're looking for that one because that's the the one that I heard. So, um, what's that one? Oh, I got that one out. My mate got that one. I found that just sitting in the gravel, and then yeah, that was the last bit. I'll run the detector over this hole again quickly and make sure that there's no other one sitting there. And if not, we'll move on. In there, to the right. Uh, have you already dug it out? No, I haven't touched it. You must have dug in there. That's why I went and got you, because it looked like you'd dug. And um, you would have got something out of there if I hadn't have told you to stop dirtying up the water. Because I was oh, working just down in there. Possibly. Sounds a bit better now. It's in my hand. <laughs> We're gonna go with this. Oh, there you go. Hold it, hand. Oh, Jesus. Oh, there, there it is. is. Grab it. Got it. Yep. Nice. had another scratch. I don't know whether I want this to still be in the hole or not. I don't think I'm mentally prepared today to find a, a big nugget like this. <laughs> I've got the shakes.
That's moved. Doesn't sound like gold. Might be some iron, but we haven't really found much junk up in this area. There it is. Yeah, that's all right. I reckon I've got something in here, but I'm not too sure about the ground. It nearly looks like an old timer's stacked wall, so it could be junk, but. I don't know, it sounds pretty sweet. Could be. There you go. Some type of funky ass rock. We've had a few of those in here. A lot of them normally look volcanic. A lot of little dimples and weird things in them. Sort of like a, looks a bit like basalt I suppose. Yeah, strange. One day, hopefully, we find a meteorite. <laughs> right, well, I made it about two meters from where I just was a second ago to my next target. It was just a faint one underneath the bank there. Gave it a little scratch with the pick, and it's getting louder. Right, I had another scratch. down pretty deep in here now. Alright, it's out. I threw all the gravel up onto the bedrock here, so hopefully it's up there. in my hand. Is it gold though? I don't think it is. Oh, it is. There it is. <laughs> you ripper. Not as big as I thought it was going to be. Thought it, um, thought it sounded much larger than that. No, it's still alright. on there. Seven o'clock. Bullet primer. Got the target here. I'll drop the threshold back. It's being pretty chattery at the moment. I've given up on that one. I do believe it was a small piece of gold, um, but it's fallen down between all the larger cobble there. I didn't do a very good job of getting it out. It um, seems that I moved it on the first or second scrape, so anyway, no big deal. It's only small. Let's keep moving. I thought this looked like a pretty good catch point here, so I cleared a few rocks from in this area here. I couldn't hear any signals when I first went over it, but once I cleared the rocks, I heard something. Just another one of those volcanic ass looking rocks. Funky. Right, so I've got a little target here. And I can actually see it. Down in that gap. You wanna see that? Piece of gold. And then just as I was about to put the detector down, 
I waved it. That's the first one. I waved it over here. And I got a noise. And have a look at this. Can you see it? Holy dooly. What? <laughs> that does not happen. Get this first one out. That's not a bad bit, you know. That's um, way larger than I thought it was going to be. All right, here we go. I'll sit that one down there. Have a look at this. It's literally just sitting there. Holy shit. <laughs> Excuse the language. But holy shit. That is a beautiful piece of gold. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, all right, I'm going to stop recording. Um because I'm about to have a fit or something. I don't know what to do with my emotions right now because that's the biggest one that I've found in a very long time. And I've been working very, very hard to look for one that big. And it's finally just turned up, so. Probably small to a lot of the other detectorists out there, but the places we go, we've got to drive a long way to be able to find any nuggets. It's really nothing local. So when we do go away and we find a big bit, that's pretty damn exciting. <laughs> and my mate just walked over this, by the way. <laughs> just looking here as well, um, over the bedrock, there's, there's quite a few other spots where there's little flakes of gold. I think we're really close to the reef here, guys. I really do. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Well, folks, I reckon it's just about time for us to call this video. And holy heck, what a lot of fun that was. It was awesome to be able to um, edit this into a video finally and, and relive all those amazing finds. Now, hang in there because this is only part one. I reckon I can, uh, I reckon I can stretch this one out for two or three more videos yet. And um, believe me, we're only just getting started on the gold. There's some really nice stuff coming. Now that I've got your attention as we're looking at all these uh, Ripper gold photos, I just want to touch back on a point that I made earlier about how long it's been since I produced a video and, and the reason behind it. I hope that I don't come across as big noting myself because that's not my intention at all. But for the prospectors on YouTube like myself who actually do reasonably well and spend a lot of time out the bush, we have to be extremely careful about how and when we upload our content because unfortunately there is a small percentage of people out there who watch our videos and know roughly what area we're in and go hunting for our spots. So we needed to be 100% certain that we removed all of the easy gold from this gully before people started looking for it. Typically, these are the type of people that lack the skill and energy to go looking for their own deposits. To be perfectly candid, I feel really sorry for those types of people because they never do well. Especially the poor bastards that follow me around. Good luck finding anything in the creek that I've been over. <laughs> the revenue generated from creating YouTube videos can be an amazing financial supplement for full-time prospectors like myself, but not at the expense of our locations. So please everyone, have respect for other people's areas, have respect for yourself. And it's our responsibility now as modern day prospectors to create a culture of honesty, respect and integrity. That's my rant over now. Thanks so much for watching everyone and I hope to see you on the next one.